It is important because we are in a here and now where climate change is really rapidly evolving. Yeah, satellite observations are critical to, to global climate monitoring and you know if we think about uh, just the, the monitoring of the of the weather on a day-to-day -day basis which in you know, weather is a manifestation of climate in the short term then then satellites dominate the, the, the global observing systems. You know, uh, if you think about uh, numerical weather prediction, over 90% over of the data feeding, feeding numerical weather prediction systems comes from satellites so, such as those operated by, by UMETSAT. For climate, I think ab absolutely, you know, we, we, we are now, now at a point where we have, we have a, a long climate record of, of satellite observations, in some cases stretching back 50 years. So it is long enough to, to, to understand trends uh, as well. Satellites are fantastic because they provide a special temporal coverage that are really a dream for many different components and, uh, and Copernicus and Eutmesat have been really key in developing what is the European observing system but is actually global. For climate monitoring the continuity of observations and the length of records are important so in that sense our new missions MTG and EPSSG are very important. By the end of the MTG era, we will have a 60-year record of geostationary satellite observations. ECVs are uh, essential climate variables, and they are variables that are selected because they uh, can characterize the Earth's climate system very well, and they are feasible to economically and technically be monitored. There are currently 55 ECVs, 38 of them are observable from space, and UMITSAT contributes to the majority of them. The CO2M mission will help to monitor CO2 emissions and this is crucial to support the implementation of the Paris Agreement. CO2M is a system of satellites, actually up to three platforms, that is funded by the Copernicus uh, program by the European Union and uh, which will be developed by um, ESA and will be operated in the future by UMITSAT and we're also going to process the data here at UMITSAT. CO2M is a game changer in that it's really up to now the, uh, the greenhouse gas monitoring missions have really focused on uh, tracks of information whereas CO2M will provide a wide swath overview so we'll really have a synoptic overview of uh, emissions and be able to track them over time so that we have the coverage needed to be able to uh, look at the trends and, and reductions in emissions over time.